I think we are live. I think we're live. Ah, good stuff. Hello, <laughs> hello. Good evening. Good, good to see evening. you guys. I hope your day went well. I really do. I really do. For those of you who have never watched this before, I'm Wendy. I'm Josiah. Welcome and thank you for coming. Just we are some pretty, <laughs> we're some pretty raw folks here, so <clears throat> if you've never watched one of our videos before, um, just know that we do get kind of raw, so. <laughs> <laughs> disclaimer. Just a disclaimer. All right. In case you don't want to hear, you know. All right, so. I don't even know where to start. Oh, today's been so eventful. We're we're so mind blown and blown away today. <laughs> we, we we get like that every now and then. Well, the, the day the day started out rough. I mean, first and foremost, we we, we were blessed recently with with the means to, to to get to get some groceries and you know, get 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 an oil change in the car and get an inspection and, and that was that was to be done today. And then I woke up thankful. I woke up thankful, and then go go going through the day. You know, I, I can make excuses and say. And say you know I didn't I didn't eat you know what have you and let the hunger get to me but that's allowing that's what happened but that's allowing you know earth, earth to affect me that's allowing that's allowing my flesh to affect me so I got all up in it trying you know trying you know and, and then the whole time I'm struggling so as we're shopping I'm thinking oh, I'm so thankful I should be thankful I should be thankful and I'm thanking the Lord and you know and we were just picking things out and talking what have you and I'm still getting irritated and I'm not understanding it and you know we. Uh, we, we, we get home, you know. Finally, after everything's all done, we get home, and once once things kind of kind of cool down, and we all of a sudden out of nowhere we're just talking. you know out of nowhere we're just talking. We're talking about you know uh, Matthew chapter seven. We're talking about just all kinds of different things. We're looking into the difference between the the, the mind and the brain and the connection there, and looking into you know to beauty from ashes and, and just kind of going through all that. And then, and then it's like, wait a second, that's kind of how today went. You went, you know, I went down this rabbit hole of, of allowing myself to just get caught up in myself, which is pride, which is pride, really. You know, that I, I lost sight. You know, as much as I was trying to keep my eye on him, you know, I still allowed, I still allowed situations to, to, to affect, you know, my, what, what are my thoughts, you know. And it was kind of great to see, to see that turn around, to see, to see from that, to see, to see, uh, you know, resurrection life come come from the death that I myself caused, you know. And we were talking we've been talking about, you know, the law and talking about sin and what have you and and how, you know, the, the scribes and Pharisees they missed the point of the law. The, the the law creates sin consciousness. You know, because you're you're so busy looking at what you shouldn't do, what you shouldn't do, you know, because there's so many sacrifices in this and that you have to do because you sin. You know, you don't think you don't think well, look at the reason as to why to stay why to sustain for that, you know, from from the power of creativity from 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 being life itself. It's as straight as the gate, you know. Yeah, what straight as the gate, but but wide it, but wide is the gate and narrow is the way that leads to destruction. Mm -hmm. You know, as straight as the gate to heaven. It says, no, straight as the gate to life. It says to life. You know, I think that's that's talking about here. That's talking about now. <laughs> as I like, oh, straight as the gate, you know, to to, to 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 heaven, you know, which is essentially yes, where we're here to manifest heaven on earth, but it's to life, to life here, to life now. And this is what we're supposed to be living. You know, it's it's it doesn't, the law is not for the righteous or for the unrighteous because the righteous know no sin. We're we we're, we're reading in, in John chapter seven it talks about a good tree does not plant corrupt seeds. You know, at the same time it says, you know, out of the abundance of the heart it says, you know, proceeds blessings and curses. You know, this should not be so. So how much of a good good seed are we? You know, and I'm not saying that for her condemnation's sake. I'm saying that for the that, 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 to, to point out that it's a process, and it's never about condemnation. It's all about it's all about seeing where you are and and bringing it before Him. And we really can't even see where we're at until we bring ourselves before Him. That's why the battle is to bring us to a place of surrender. And so that's all the battle is. You know, it's not you know I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight. No, the battle belongs to the Lord. <laughs> you know, so so we surrender to him and allow him to search us, and that's how the battle. The battle, a lot of the surrender is search, search, search. You know, and then we, then we walk it out, and we walk it out, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. Fantastic. So I talked for a few minutes. How are you? I'm well. We started off the day like he said, a little rough. I woke up with a lot of weird inner turmoil boiling up in me, and. I wasn't in the best of moods when I woke up, and I'm not really sure what that was about. But we're gonna we're gonna work on that this evening. We've had a busy day, and I haven't had a whole lot of time to 
sit and kind of hash all that out with Papa and figure out where all that was coming from. But we started off our morning kind of bickery and yeah. And both of us were just, you know, weird. It was just a weird morning. Mm -hmm. It was very unusual <laughs> for us to be like that too. So it was even stranger because normally we're pretty laid back. But every now and then we get a little riled up, and today was one of those days. Well, we were talking about deep cries out to deep, yep. right? So, so when you when you first meet him, it's about dealing dealing a little more with uh, the surface issue, not the surface flesh issue, the surface sin issue. And then as, as you grow, it's just it's all about getting to the root, all about getting to to the intent of the root of the heart mm -hmm. as to why you chose that, yep. as, as to why you think that, you know. And and then and that's what it is, because sin essentially is, is disconnects from truths. That's you know, pretty it's. Much it. That's why it's designed to destroy itself, you know, because it's a disconnect from truth. And you want you want the way to life. No one there narrow is the gate. Narrow is the gate because it's it's about relationship. It's about surrendering. We we make it so hard to surrender. That's why it narrow is the gate because it's 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 hard to be vulnerable in that aspect. We try to do that with people. How 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 vulnerable can you be with people? I know I know I can be cynical. It happens. You know, nobody works on me with that. And I'm thankful for it. And I'm thankful that no matter what, I still love who I'm talking to. You know, with all my heart. But he works on it. Well, by the end of the day, we, we, we started it off not very well, but by the end of the day, everything was back to normal. But we had to talk through some stuff. And not only that, the Lord for some reason has been just revelating us like crazy today blowing us away, filling us up, and, you know, I don't know if it's because we were both kind of in a weird place, and, and I know I, for one, always, you know, ask, what is going on, and please fill me with the peace, because I'm not finding it right now, and I need you, and for somehow, by the end of the day, he's revelating <laughs> us, and we're just laughing, and cutting up, and in scripture again and just our normal selves and and really it's sometimes I wonder if if you know if I would be as e easy to get over things if I hadn't let go of some of that junk that I've let go of in my past I mean I wonder what I would you know it has to be the change I mean it has to be the change it has to come down to us changing I mean, yes, it's a little bit of work, but man, the fruits from it, the fruits from it, because now me and Josiah, neither one of us are holding a grudge towards each other, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. there isn't one. It's 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 almost like it's been forgotten. Yeah, it's almost like the mind gets so full of thoughts that you get to the point where you realize, you know, that that, that your mind is so full of thoughts, so you, yes. you empty you empty it, and not that so much. You just turn your you just turn your thoughts to him, you turn your mind to him, and in turning your mind to him. It's, it's everything fades away, but the way everything fades away is he cuts through it. Yeah. Yeah, he, he gets he to the heart like, it. this is why. This is yeah. why you chose to do this. This is why you're minded that. Let, let's, let's, let's fix that. Let's fix that. You know, let's, get, let's get back to love. Let's get back to joy. It says, we, first, we love him because he first loved us. Well, the joy in the Lord is our strength. So I think that we should be joyful because he was joyful first. Right. <laughs> you know, but even then. We can only be joyful because of him. Yeah. Thankfulness, and I think that everything that comes good to comes it, from the Father. So. Going, kind of going through what we went through this morning, you know, it, it, it's not so much yes about being humble, but being humble brings you to a place of thankfulness. You know, when you're in a place, when you're mm -hmm. when you stand before Him and you're you're humble and you're, and you're thankful, and you're, <laughs> peace that passes understanding. You know, he says, "I will keep Him at peace, you know, keep Him at perfect peace, whose minds are, are stayed on Him." Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been really good. And I'm glad we still went went on here. There's always the, you know, little way to get out. Like, well, what if I had, what if you have a bad day or what what if something happens? I'm right. really gonna go on live. I mean, Laura, much is given, much required. You know, there's also the thing about making making uh, making a plan, but also being open to you dashing them plans because it's about the leading of the spirit more uh -huh. than it is about you being religious about your plans and just you right. know logic. I'm a man. It happens. The logic just goes nuts it, with it. And the it, whole time he's like, but if I'm you're back working here. For him, <laughs> And you're not religious about it. More than likely, you'll never, you know, have any issues. Yeah. But if you're not exactly working for him, and it, it, it's just there's all all different kind of factors that 
have to come into play. You won't have any issues because you won't create any issues. <laughs> That's right. That's and right. How, do, how, do you un, how do you uncreate issues? You can't uncreate issues. You, 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 you allow yeah. him to, 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 go, to go through your own issues. Yeah. yeah. Once they're created, they're there. We can bury them and stuff them all we want. And, yeah, one and, seeds are planted. You know? But that's not really the smartest thing to do because then our garden grows from those ugly seeds. Exactly. And we're supposed to be trying to plant so do, do thorns, fruitful seeds. Do thorns come up with thi- with, do thorns come up with figs? Right. right. <laughs> I, I know I'm probably misquoting that because I, I just kind of went through a, a, a little bit a little bit again. But you know, John chapter seven. So yeah, correct me. <laughs> but I mean, really, you know, it talks about when you talk you know, putting planting seed in good soil. Yeah. Breaking up your fallow ground. Oh, that's yeah. the difference too, because you can break up your fallow ground, but it's still the seed that you choose that you choose, choose to plant in. Plant. You know, we were talking before. It talks about being being of one seed. being of one mind, being of one eye. Well, the brain, the one side is all is very much logic, and the other side is, is creative, and it, and it's it's kind of it's kind of like the, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil a little bit within us, but but the mind, the yeah. mind is what controls. So it's the, mind the manifestation. So controls it. Of all of your emotions mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. everything, it's the manifestation. Yeah, the, the scientific definition of the mind, yeah. in terms of the difference between the brain and the mind, involves the world where the word manifestation. I mean, that's just fantastic. <laughs> yeah, but it's the manifestations of all of the things that your brain comes up with, as far as your emotions, all of that, and then your mind is supposed to send those to your senses. Mm-hmm. So I mean, you then your body about, reacts. You want to talk about the power of creation? So that talk we about have. the power of that, the mm-hmm. power of healing, the power of all mm-hmm. of that. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. but we, we have to have the mind of Christ. Exactly, our mind has to be exactly. of Christ. It can't be of our yeah. own. God is limitless. Yeah. If you want Him to be limitless, then you got to stay. T- stop taking limits off of Him. The only reason you put limits on Him is because of your fear, and your fear is very mm-hmm. much rooted in, in in fear to be exposed or fear of being wrong or, or what have you. I can't say, you know, personally. You know, I just there's say all it kinds of personally, fears. but there's all fears kinds of, of fears. lack, fears of mm-hmm. fears of disappointment, fears of. Fears of not being liked, fears of abandonment, fears. Of, there's all kind of fears, but all of them lead to destruction. Now that we're talking about this, yeah. see, I love how this all connects. So hang on a second. Hang on a second. No condemnation in any of this, guys. Oh, no, no, no. This, this is, is all, all because but, we have to know that, that, that it truly is a war between, you know, our, our, our mind and our flesh. It, it literally is a war between the two. The, the, it literally says in the Bible that, you know, the law of sin is, is the flesh. The law of obedience, it says, not, not, not even righteousness, it says obedience. The law of obedience is the mind. Mm-hmm. And so we have to have the mind of Christ, the mind of obedience towards Christ. And until we have the the, the, the mind of obedience, then ah, sac- then obedience we're going to sacrifice. So you sacrifice your mind that your that you may your your mind may, may be obedient. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. um, I don't mean to interrupt because um, I realized we did that in the last video. I interrupted her a couple of times so watching that. No, I'm sorry, good. I'll say that to you now. Um, and back to the, the back to fear. First John four eighteen. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out all fear. Because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made in perfect love. Mm-hmm. But we are to fear the Lord. Exactly. And that terms of not made, that's talking about, you know, a corrupt tree does yeah. not plant good seed. That's why we need the blood of Christ. That's why we need the, the pitch that was on the, that was on that was on Noah's Ark, the the the, the, the covering. Well, well, he works this out. Well, he works out. We're, we are made right. It says we are made righteous because he is righteous. I don't, I don't think that's an automatic thing, personally. I think it's, I think it's a working out. I think because he is righteousness, because of what righteousness is, righteousness works itself out within you that you, be, that you may be righteous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's not, it's, it's conquering law, sin, and death. It's because, you know, we said earlier, you know, good knows no evil. Mm-hmm. Well, like we were talking about it? earlier, you have to clean the That's inside right. of your cup, the mind, before the outside of your cup is clean. Yeah, so it says clean the inside this, of your cup and the outside. This mind has to be focused on God, no matter what this is doing, because this right here, if it's focused on God, 
Christ has got it. He already died for our for all of our sins. So we're, he's going to walk us into redemption. He's going to walk us into sanctification. He's going to walk. He he's 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 the way. So we're good. <laughs> we're good. It, it's just a matter of obedience. It's obedience. But it's not obedience in their role. No, no, which, no. Which, honestly, no. you know, there are there are times where we're put to a test like that. We are. And there really is. Yeah. But but, but in, in, even in the Old Testament, it talks about sacrifices of a willing heart. The New Testament <laughs> actually took it a step further and said, without love, it's a son of curling breast. Yes, but the patience is great. I, can, I can attest to that because anybody that deals with me needs patience. I always told Josiah, Lord, God has to deal with me and it, wow it, what patience he must have <laughs> to deal with me Likewise. because you know and I'm constantly questioning everything I've always had such a rebellious uh, free spirited you know like we were talking about I have one side of the brain and he has the other side of the brain completely yeah, we, we were it, talking about the, the, the two becoming insane. one right mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I think together maybe that's how we kind of work it out. But we, there's friction. The, the left you know, side we, of the brain tends to be more of the male personality. The right side of the brain tends to be more of the female personality. So, yeah. but naturally by birth, whether you're male or female, you're already born with 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 that that bit of an imbalance. You know, and then you're influenced mm -hmm. by everything around you, and then you choose what you allow right. to influence you. Because a lot of times, I'm a product of my environment to an extent, but we're, but there's accountability. Well, that that <laughs> that explains why there's no male and female. I mean, I says there's no male and female no, because no, if, it, exactly. it, here, it, if you're here, mm -hmm. there's not going to be one side or the other side. Right. There's going to be one. complete it's oneness one. of your of, of your tree of good and evil, and mm -hmm. it's going to now be the tree of mm -hmm. life that sustains you, that 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 shed, you know that covers you, and that's there's a big difference. And our job is to be obedient unto that righteousness. You know, it's not to beat ourselves up. It's not to beat other people loving, up and judge them loving, about what they're doing. We're supposed to be working on our own gardens. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're supposed to be helping other people by planting good seed and, you know, let God increase, obviously. But I guess I was leaving that out whenever I was talking about that. I was, I was kind of confirmed as a, as a, you kind of leave this part out a little bit, mm -hmm. you know. And I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. I do. I do, Papa. I'm sorry. God, God is the increase. And so, I mean, we, we do plant seeds as long as they're good. I don't even know where I was at with right. well, that. The, 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 the pe people supplied the, the, the fish, the loaves and fishes, and God provided the increase. And we were talking about yeah, that day the other day. the increase. Yeah. Yeah. you got to give them something to increase. <laughs> yes, you got to give them something to increase. <laughs> but, but what is sown in spirit will reap spirit. What is sown in flesh will reap fresh. So even, even, even the substance that needs to be increased itself must be Christ. To both good ends, bad seeds increase, Josiah. Yeah. 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 They do. They grow up together. Yeah. And, and then what does it say? Wait till they're grown before you pluck them out. Yeah. That's talking about seeds that we, that we that we nourish to the point where where they do grow, and it's that it, it's, that's all the more painful in that instance, you know, especially when it comes to beliefs. I mean, in, in an era where you know, top four with with so much information out there and. Challenging what we challenging what we know what we what our convictions are what our personal convictions are versus what versus what we're finding logically versus what reigns truth in Christ it's it, it doesn't drive you nuts but um, mm -hmm. it's it's a glorious transition. Yeah. Glory. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. We we were talking about him because that wine is so there. sweet. Mm -hmm. Taste and see. Why is it bitter to the stomach? Because the stomach clings to the earth, mm -hmm. clings to the dust. And what, what 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 happens at the dust? That is where the serpent eats. Mm -hmm. That's so good. He crawls around on his belly, devouring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what he feeds on. Mm -hmm. The dirt. Mm -hmm. We're made from the dirt, and we cleave to the dirt. So, in our belly. Mm. So we were. Yes, as I was saying. She's she's usually sitting here at the table, which is where we're at currently. And she's on her she's on her desktop, and I'm and I'm on my phone, whatever. And we just we're just going back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, we should come, we should go live with this because you talk about you know there's a Bible teaching and then there's a Bible study. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I think it'd be kind I would of love cool to, to do Bible studies to, to go, live. That would go, be awesome. To kind of go live a little Have bit. Have other and people's input as we're, in as their we're revelation. Study, you know, yeah. Ask our questions, you know, out, out in the open as well. Because it's supposed to be an open discussion. Sure, at the moment, we, you know, it seems like we're only talking to ourselves, but honestly, eternity is, is outside of time. So whenever you watch this video, we're, we're here with you now. Yeah. Every prayer that, that's sent up is, is, is happening now, when it's sent out now. It impacts everything. Good manifestations. Yep. Yep. Definition of the brain. The mind. It, it, it includes the word manifestation. Good manifestations. I, I, I want to read it. I want to read it. And then the, the picture is terrible, so bear with me. You guys, I have to tell you why he's looking this up. I have to tell you what I did to him today. You guys know that I've been singing this song for over six days now, baby. There's joy in the house of the Lord. So we got in the car today to leave. <laughs> I, I told him, I said, can you turn the Bluetooth off your phone so that I could turn music on? And he said, yeah. And so I put, the, guess what the first song was I played and <laughs> cranked it up for him. The first song, I'm probably on a random, was a song that she's been singing for <laughs> six days. And I said, well, maybe if I hear it, it'll get mm -hmm. out of she my mind. And now it's been in both of our minds all day. <laughs> so it didn't work, but I tried. But It's still a good song. And there's a reason for that. There's sometimes where it's like if I, li if I there's a song in my head and I listen to it. And then listen to a different song, then that kind of gets out of my mind. This one did. <laughs> <laughs> that's gorgeous. That's see, the fruit of the spirit self control. There's a reason why. But there's a but there's also the intent of the reason why. Anyways, so check this out. Uh, the brain is an organ, but the mind isn't. The brain is a physical place where the mind resides. The mind is a manif the man the mind is the manifestations of thought, perception, emotion, determination memory and imagination that takes place within the brain mind is often used to refer especially to the thought process of reason and then it goes on um where is the bottom of that okay what is the okay so the brain is similar similarly a creation of the mind it is the mind's own symbolic expression where are we of the mind's existence. So the brain is an idea of a non spatial truth in pers in perspective terms. He's got it zoomed in really yeah. big and trying to scroll. Yeah, because it's such small right? <laughs> symbolizing the symbolizing the mind in the physical world, the brain the brain in three D space manifests the mind our senses. I'm, I'm, if, I hope that you won't call it that as mundane as I yeah. had to read that. Mind manifests. It, but it's just insane. Yep. All of that to your senses. So, clean the inside of the cup is pretty much the, the, um, the main thing, right? Yeah. Pretty much. Ins the outside of your cup will follow because just, uh, the cleaning of the inside of your cup is unto mm -hmm. righteousness. Yeah, just as... The, not, the, not now righteousness, but unto righteousness. Just as the Bible, the standard, the way to be, is not something you strive to live by. It's fruits and evidence of relationship. So in allowing Christ to clean the out inside of the cup, the outside will be clean. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say clean the inside of the cup, then clean the outside of the mm -hmm. cup. It says clean the, outside of the, clean the inside of the cup, then the outside mm -hmm. of the cup. It's just fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um, doesn't it didn't it say that the heart, uh, the heart, the pineal gland. Oh yeah, the place uh, where they, they all places, supposedly found the, yeah, that the they soul. Yeah, they supposedly right? found the soul. The, the, what they believe to be the essence of the soul, they they found it in the in the pineal gland, mostly the lungs, in the, brain, the heart, in the, in the lungs behind the heart. Yeah. In, for what they think is soul. Interesting. It is yeah. interesting, though. It, I mean, it honestly, is interesting. There's a seed of truth and a seed of life yeah, in almost everything. There, there's, there's seeds of truth everywhere. That's why, and it's, that's why it's so important to be able to learn to discern. That's why Jesus said we walk in heavenly places now, because I think we're, we're surrounded by seeds of truth and, and seeds of lies. That's why it says study to show thyself approved. Now, don't throw away the Bible. But it's, it's not putting your faith in the Bible. It's putting your faith in God that, that the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. would show you, you know, through, through the Bible. The Bible. <laughs> yeah. 
right? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is the through the word. It is the the, the honor of God. To, it is the glory of God, God to, to hide, hide a thing. It is the honor of kings to search on a matter. Now, I believe that's very much talking about the, the about the Bible, but I believe it's also talking about life in itself, about the yeah. Holy Spirit. I mean, I used to say there's Everything. there's there's, there's, there's treasures. the world Good treasures is filled and bad with treasures. You know, the world is <laughs> exactly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, that's true. I no, because I interrupt you too, so we're good. Um, so <laughs> no, you don't feel so bad. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Oh my gosh, I'm so uh, sorry. No, no, no. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to. Be. It's just, it's just great. I'm sorry. Oh, I think I'm sorry. Can you On to the next. <laughs> yeah, have we spoken about water yet this time? I think we've spoken about water and living water is what have you almost every session, whatever this is, almost every, um, water's putting ourselves out there, what have you. Water's pretty important. Time. Look, I broke my clippy. Isn't that great? I was wondering what that was. Yep. I was, I just, I was wondering why my hair was sitting to the side, and I'm like, oh, I think I lost my clippy. And then I reached back there, and it was because it was broken that my hair just kind of went <laughs> over to the side. <laughs> so it's kind of messy, but oh well. <sighs> but anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else has happened today? A lot of be being filled. I yeah, tell you that much. I mean, filled. you know, I said it's, I love being blown. But I love being blown away. I love being, being transformed by the renewing of my mind. The, the thing I love most about it is because it, it, it draws me to the heart of my father. And that's supposed to be the point of it all. Mm -hmm. Right? It's a relationship. It's not about gaining all this for nothing. It's about gaining all this to it. To understand the heart, which is already within us, to, to attain to attain that which we already have. It, you know, God is holding on to us. It's holding it's holding him back. Right? Mm -hmm. We we then I think the, um, he meets us where we're at. That's not supposed to end there. Through meeting us where we're at, so he's, he, he teaches us to meet him where he's at. That we may be that pure and spotless bride. That we may not sow corrupt seeds, because a good tree does not does not sow corrupt trees. Or seeds. <laughs> seeds. <laughs> and straight again, narrow, narrow straight is the way and narrow is the gate. Because there are a few who find it, you know, and I think very much that's talking about here and now. There are a few who find it here and now. Why is that? And when we measure, we like to put ourselves on the right side of the fence. I mean, say the rod on which you measure by is the rod you measure, it says, right? That what is what the word they use afterwards in the next part of the verse is whatever is meat will be measured unto you. You know, however you measure others, however you measure under, even however you measure yourself will be measured unto you. So it was about, it's about not about, it's about giving up the judgment seat. You know, in the beginning of Matthew 7, judge not lest, lest ye be judged. And yes, it says rightly divide the, the word of truth, but that's, we talked about that before. It's about allowing Christ to sit in that seat so that it may be Christ that speaks through us. So that spirit, so that spirit speaking to spirit, you know, word that when we speak, that spirit would be in the very breath that we speak. Amen. So be it and so it is. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> For everyone who watches this. Glory. <laughs> good stuff. Today's been good. Well, that's the thing, too. There's, there, there's no condemnation, right? He's never further away than right inside of you. It's no, not about guilt. Ooh. About repentance, renewing our mind. How perfect we are. Well, what did I say yesterday? God is a perfect expression of love. You know, we have to learn how to receive that perfect expression of love. That in learning how to receive that perf perfect expression of love, we may be that perfect expression of love. You can say we're one all, all we want, but until but Shekinah glory is when the Spirit comes and rests. That you are no longer under the law in any way, shape, or form, because I do believe that we are under the law to the extent of our uncircumcised hearts. Mm. Narrow is the way. It's crazy, brother. <laughs> it's not that we have to, it's that we get to. So we get to. Jesus is the way. He fulfilled the law. As a matter of fact, when it's with John chapter 7. 
<laughs> so good. <laughs> you want me to pull it up for you? No. Glory. He talks about turn from me for, for I never knew you. And says, you, you workers of iniquity. And iniquity, iniquity means a form of lawlessness. Interesting. A form of lawlessness, although we're no longer above the law, but it's a form, but it's a, but iniquity is a form of lawlessness. And, 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 and within the definition, it talks about, you know, it's even, iniquity is even uh, being ignorant uh, of the law itself. But, it, but the, the word we're no longer under the, the law of sin and death because we're, we're not to look at it. It's not about the consequences of sin and this and that and, that and that. It's that may Christ have its way that we may overcome sin that we, so that now that we've overcome sin, we may move on to perfection. On earth is it if you deny my father, he will deny you. Oh. Look, look at the world today. Where do you stand? So I'll tell you what, if, <laughs> that's the thing too. You're either standing or you're not. Where do you stand? Are we gonna busy living in our heads? Oh, I wonder this. I wonder that. I can't wait. Are we going to go out and, 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 and search? Go in. Go in. Yeah, and are we going to go in and search I'm without? Not, I, yeah. I know what you meant, baby. But yes, no. The, the, go in. Very important words. Go in. <laughs> go in and search. Go in and search. And if you're not standing, then deep press out the deep. You need time. You need to, you need to allow the Lord to get to the root of why, not wallow in the fact that you're not standing because that's kind of that's condemnation. But search the heart of the Father because His thoughts towards you are of good and not of evil. Amen. Hallelujah. So search the heart of the Father, not for fear, but 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 in, in glorious, anxious anticipation for for the resurrection life that comes through the exposure of the disconnects from truth. Yeah. It, that, that's true freedom. That's true freedom. Being set free from the bondage of the disconnects from truth. You guys are no longer disconnects. Nope. You're no longer... You're, st you're standing in truth. Yeah, unbelief is... is yeah, unbelief could be anything that is that is not what true belief is. I mean, <laughs> if that even makes sense, I'm probably just rambling. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, because of your unbelief, right? Right? To what depth is your belief? We don't have the knowledge. We don't even know what to choose to believe. The mind controls which end of the brain to the process and, you know, putting them together and whatnot. <laughs> it's a little blown away. It's been a day. It's been a day. <laughs> He's a good father, you guys. He really is. He loves you so much. He loves all of us so much. And he loves you so much that he's willing to be patient as long as you're willing to be obedient. And the obedience isn't a bad thing. It leads to freedom. Patience is not Out absence. of bondage, mm -hmm. into freedom. Ah, it's so worth the obedience. Sometimes, you know, to understand freedom, you have to understand to the depths you are in bondage. Mm -hmm. Not some all the time, right? To understand freedom, <laughs> you need to understand the depths of, of bondage that you yourself hold yourself in. Yeah. And the bondage that others have put you in. These and days, the power of influence. we're starting to have a lot of that. Yeah, we are very much accountable for our own actions, and manifesting but there's still, huge. There's still the influence. 
Yep. That's why I don't go on stolen waters. Search yourself. Search yourself. Relationship is personal. Don't There's go a lot on. of water out There's there, man. Water it's out tossing there. people to and fro. Mm -hmm. And it yourself. can get confusing even for the elect. It says that in the Bible. <laughs> I don't care how smart you mm -hmm. think you've got it. And it's funny how we all think we're the elect. Yeah. I mean, we really do. Uh, and then, we don't know who the elect is. Uh, humility you know. leads to thankfulness. Yeah. You know? yeah. There, there, there's your birthright, and then there's, there's walking into it. So, so imagine even if we were, but, it, but it, even if we're not like me, because I'm a baby, I'm just a baby Christian. So, imagine how it could t toss me to and fro if I let it. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it, if, if it can deceive even the elect. I mean, come on. We're, 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 we've got to be discerning. We've got to be, we've got to be awake. Yeah, a lot of that has to do with belief. It says he will lead and guide you into all truth. Mm -hmm. So when you're confused, right? When you're confused, when you're being tossed to and fro, it's because you don't believe. You don't believe that in that verse. You don't believe that, he's, that he will lead you into all truth. You're afraid of being led astray. Or you're people pleasing, or you're just lazy and don't want to figure it out for yourself. A lot of times these days, it's people pleasing. You know? Yeah, a lot of times it is people pleasing. It's 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 also wanting to be seen, right? Everybody wants a everybody wants wants a pulpit. Uh, I don't I don't need a pulpit. This is this is putting ourselves out there saying, mm -hmm. "Hi," you know. That's why it's unscripted. Yeah. If you've ever done a live, you should probably try it because it's been helpful in exposing some stuff about our own selves. Mm -hmm. You're, you'd be amazed at what you see about yourself when you watch yourself from the outside. It's pretty amazing, isn't it, babe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if y'all have ever been in a situation like that it's where you've seen yourself like you know, drunk or messed up or something, do something crazy and mm -hmm. then... <laughs> That's that's kind of how it is. You kind of watch yourself, and you're like, "Wow, I do kind of do that to people, don't I? I am kind of loud, or I am this." Or mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't realize it till you actually see it from the outside. I guess I don't really know, but um, but I don't know why sometimes I don't just trust whenever he tells me these things about myself. But I don't. I have to it actually see it. From truth. You know, it I happens. have to actually see it for mm -hmm. myself and mm -hmm. and he's okay with that. He's well, patient with me. Isn't but, that one of the things that we take know. for granted being here on earth is is is, the, is discovery. You know, the, the wonder of discovery. We take that for granted. Yeah. Why didn't I know? You just discovered it. <laughs> Let's get crazy to the Lord. <laughs> yeah, instead we get mad because we didn't know it before, you know, or mad because we had it wrong all these yeah. years and we start dwelling on what well, and we're, we're not so being busy. grateful that so we found it just, <laughs> we're so busy just striving so hard and striving so hard that we're mm -hmm. that we're we're like glory 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 but we're not giving glory it's due yeah we're not thankful yeah i think that's been our thing is that we're finding so much glory in every day it, it's sometimes it blows our mind like today i'm just like I just can't. I mean, <laughs> today's just been an overload, an overload of, of just goodness. And and I don't mean in circumstance. I mean in 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 spirit. In spirit. In spirit. You know, he got it. He didn't that. You know, circumstances took, took, actually weren't that great at the beginning yeah, of the day. To, but to, it was for us to glory. focus. Right? The word focus. It took it took it took getting all err to fo to focus all the more and then focusing all the more everything else just faded away and mm -hmm. he just pours and pours and pours as long as you're willing to drink it you'll keep on pouring yeah well that's the thing too you know that it's, it's, they say it's for your for your drinker not your thinker I, I love that terminology but if we're if we're if we're just drinking whatever you know if we're just drink if if we're if we're mm -hmm. ignorant of what it is that we're drinking well then what kind of seeds are you sowing you know I, I I'm, I'm I'm with the Lord there's no way I can miss the mark the mark of the Lord yes yes but He'll still <laughs> let you go on with, with with your logic and bring you and bring you to truth. Mm -hmm.
Because if he just hit us with straight truth, truth, we'd probably die. It'd be like it'd be like standing in in his presence and and, and not being able to take it in. We were talking before, like with the, with, the, with the eye, you know, the in the dark, your eyeball, your your iris. I'm sorry, your iris expands in the darkness, which is funny because talk about why does the gate narrow as way, right? And when in the dark, your eye, your your iris expands because it's trying to absorb light. It's trying to absorb what it can. But with, but in the presence of light, the iris gets smaller. Because narrow, straight is the gate. Narrow is the way. It's not something that should instill a, a, a certain type of fear in you. But no, no, it, it shouldn't. It shouldn't instill in fear as much as it should. It's as much as it should instill a stirring of the spirit. As fear is, fear is a distraction from a stirring of the spirit. Don't don't let that sword meant to pierce your heart. Don't deflect it. Let it pierce. Sacrifice so we can learn to be obedient. Amen. Stand. Talk all we want. What are you doing? It only takes a couple of small steps. Again, not for convic not for no, yeah, for conviction's sake, but for con not for condemnation's sake, but to invoke a stirring of the spirit. What are you doing? To redeem the time. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ever looked in the mirror and asked yourself? What is it you're doing? Where's your joy? Where's your peace? And he'll keep those at perfect peace whose minds are stayed on him. So if you're not at perfect peace, it's because your mind's not stayed on him. That's a hard one. That's a real hard one because I I, I, I I like to think that I pray without ceasing, but I'm not at perfect peace always. There's moments. Glorious moments. Amen. Mm. Mm. Glory. <laughs> <Woo -wee! laughs> oh, goodness. Yes. Joy. There's joy yeah. in the house of the Lord. Now do you see why I've been singing this song? For yeah, most days? definitely. It'll probably become the, the theme song uh, on one of our pages. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Every time you click on, there's joy in the house. He'll open up throne room. We'll make it her song. He'll open up throne room 111.com and it'll just be blaring. You'll be like, oh, it's there too. I can't escape it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to drive you nuts with that thing. But no. Sometimes you just feel it in life. You know, there's certain songs you just feel it. And I feel like, you know, there's joy in the house of the Lord. And I, I just got to keep you grateful for that. You are the house of the Lord, are you not? So there's joy inside you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't have it because we perish for lack of knowledge. And we don't have it because we're focused on our circumstances instead of fo being focused on God. So and we don't have That's it because we're not from. willing to sacrifice and submit that we may learn to be obedient in love. I would that you were either hot or cold. And because you're lukewarm, I will spew you out of my mouth. Again, that's not to, to invoke fear based on self-preservation. It's to invoke a stirring of the spirit. Because you're loved. Completely. Well, you guys, we're going to call it. It's 10 minutes until, but neither one of us have gotten much done because we haven't been here today. We've got a few things to do, so. No, no excuses. 
Yeah. We feel led to get offline. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's okay. Right. Leading the so, spirit despite excuses. Because yep. honestly, if you wanted us to stay on, I would stay on. I'm thankful that we can get some things done. But yeah. obedience over sacrifice, right? Right. So let's add, you know, well, sacrifice this if we needed to, that I may be obedient to this. But yeah, I think I think we're good. And I appreciate you guys very thank much. Thank you guys very much for coming. And remember how loved you are. And how his yoke is easy. Do the hard things. Do do the hard things. Let them search. Move. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>